go. Shoo! You the man. What's up, Pete Pie? It's your boy Sean P, the leader and general of the Illust team known to man, the Pure Voice, aka your family's favorite family. And today, um, I'm about to put y'all up on game. So, to all the husbands out there who are just, you know, chomping at the bit to start a family, to get married and have kids, because people do that, right? One of the major responsibilities of being a father and husband is that when items or furniture comes to the house that needs to be put together you my friend are the one that has to do it so today is like any other day when a new apparatus comes to the house um i'm chilling on my business just trying to enjoy some youtube and key comes and asks me to put something together for her so today's dad project is uh, this Giggle, Easy Giggles cloth diaper sprayer. So this cloth diaper journey is a journey that Nakia wanted to be on her own with, right? She said she wanted to do it. She did the research. She got the cloth diapers. I did not want any parts of it because I'm just used to regular cloth diapers, just regular diapers. And she's now trying to bomb my video. <laughs> And I did not ask for it, but slowly but surely, she's bringing me into this cloth diaper journey that I did not ask to be a part of. So here I am, once again, doing the kids' job. So let's be an obedient and submissive hus job. husband and uh, put this thing together without causing a catastrophe. The reason why we need this is now that Raleigh's eating solids and regular foods, his poops are no longer water soluble. They are regular human poop. Now we can no longer you know, just clean it off in the sink or whatever. Now it's time for it to go into the toilet. Sometimes because he does nurse too, his poops are kind of pasty. So like peanut butter consistency. And um, I do, we do use um, the liners in his cloth diapers but sometimes you know things happen and poop gets on the cloth diaper so the sprayer is going to help us get the poop off and neatly into the toilet i will show you the other thing that we got so that the poop goes straight into the toilet and doesn't splatter everywhere Hopefully we don't have a catastrophe because he just said, am I doing this correctly? <laughs> but we shall see. How you feeling? Uh, that, I just saw a little bit of water come out, so that was a little... My anxiety just went up just a smidge, but uh, it's fine. Huh? It was just a little... Oh, show mom a picture so she can see how it's connected. Nope. No for you. He is screwing on the T-valve. No. Now he's putting the piece back on. This is the water line. What's that? The water line. The water line, guys. <laughs> oh, 
okay, so that little nozzle over there is what closes it from the diaper sprayer. Cool. So when we're not using it, when I'm not using it, <laughs> I'll just turn it off. nozzle this is the holder this is the hanger mm -hmm. there was some kind of tape or something in there did you see that oh that's right on the toilet oh uh, where is that supposed to go now it's supposed to go you see this is what happens Indeed. your wife while she's very well intentioned She's not building anything, but she still finds it necessary to put in her two cents. And when the job that you had already that. done was just about finished, this is silicone tape. Uh, she butts in and then causes you to do something that you had no plans on doing. And then it just sets you back a whole 20 minutes. So, so what you're about to see is me attempt to put on this silicone tape that I didn't even have to put on and we wind up just doing all of this for nothing. So enjoy this. Let me also add that this was the worst possible place to try to install this thing. There is not much space in between our toilet and our sink. And I am right-handed trying to work on the left-handed side. So what you're seeing is now the silicone tape not even allowing the T valve to fit and the alignment is all thrown off because I'm using tape that I was not even supposed to put on but because Nakia wanted to be all in my business as she always does I wind up going through this whole process and becoming frustrated and it was just a whole mess so yep So now the wife is offering to help out because the idea that she told me to do is not working. So now she thinks that she can do a better job than I can when she asked me to do the thing in the first place because she knows that I'm better at this than she is. But again, minding my business and coaching from the sidelines she is now going to try to attempt to put on the T-valve that I myself, the handyman specialist, cannot do. In the meantime, while we are trying to get that tight, well even, I'll show you the Spray Pal bucket. And it comes with four of these little clips. And you clip the diapers to the bucket and you put this on the toilet that has these little things and I'll, when we're done I'll put it on the toilet so you can see <laughs> I don't think Spidey's web goes in there but all right <laughs> ah! <laughs> and um, yeah just to spray the diapers off so I'll show you guys how that works in a second okay it's on evenly. Let's <laughs> put them down. And it only took 20 minutes. <laughs> In my mind, I'm thinking, this is not funny at all because I really just spent all this time trying to do something that I didn't have to do. You know which side is which. So, uh, I'm a little flustered, but 
it's not that big of a deal. So we push on and uh, keep things moving. This is gonna go here. Oh, is that what you need a washer for? There's also a washer in here. Oh. Notice that I am not engaging with the wife at this moment. She sent me back 20 minutes, so her input on how this project goes is not warranted, nor will it be accepted or tolerated. So she is cut off from all building input. <laughs> Stick. Mm -hmm. So it like just stays still. Yeah. The um the top might keep it still though. Right? The top. No? The top of the toilet. It might. Mount this thing. Oh yeah, baby. Turn the water back on. Ooh. No leaks. No leaks. Awesome. Shoutouts to me. Yes. No leaks. Shout out to you. Alright, let's put this top back on. Yeah, give us one second, okay? Alright, let's see if this thing works now. Okay. So the toilet is filled back up. Is it flush? You guys, we have a lot of minerals in our well, so that's what the darkness is in it's there. Rust. The toilet is clean, but it's rust from the minerals. Valve on. Valve is on. Ooh, look at that pressure. Yeah. Let's do some pressure. Well, we could use this as a bidet as well. It, it does say that people use it as that. People use it to... I saw sneakers being placed in, on the pail okay. to clean off. Awesome. I've done my daddy and husband duties. <laughs> Duty to get rid of the duty? <laughs> No, no pun intended. Y'all ain't gonna be washing y'all butts in my toilet. <laughs> Did you hear Sean? He's like, we can use this as a bidet. <laughs> and um, now it's time to get back to my normally scheduled life. All right, guys. So really quick, I'm just gonna do a quick run through to show you how this works. Here's the pail. You sit it right on top of this. This is nice and soft under here. There's like a liner right here, so it won't slip or slide or anything. And then you take your diaper. This diaper was full of poo, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy took care of it earlier, the old school way. And you just put your diaper up on there. Take your sprayer off. Switch the valve on. And then once it's on, you just, you're good to go. And the poop goes down the pail and into the toilet. And voila, clean diaper. It's all in the pail. Nothing sprayed out of the pail. Amazing. This is like the best thing ever. So get yourself one of these. So if you want to get this, uh, this diaper cleaner, bidet, and the pail, um, we're going to put a description in the link below. So uh, just click that and uh, copy it if you need it. But until next time, Live, let, love, peace. Can you do peace?